Hey, my name is Christy Campbell. Welcome to day one of Nutrition Boot Camp. We're gonna dive right into your action step for the day and some education around it. So first off, remember that it's not the giant sweeping changes that we do and pretend to stick with for like three days and then quit. It's the little changes that we remember and we actually adopt for the long term that add up. And that's what we're gonna do in Nutrition Boot Camp. So first, Let's talk about real boot camp. I was in the Navy 15, 20 years ago, and one of the things that they told me when we started our boot camp experience was that they break you down in order to build you back up. Good news, I'm not breaking you down, but we are gonna start with a clean out. So today's action step and education topic is pantry clean out. We have a rule in Fit Me, it's kind of a basic guideline. It is, if you wouldn't want it in your house on your worst day, don't buy it. What that means is that if you know that it's a food that you're going to overdo when you're stressed, you're tired, you have no more capacity to give, then we don't want to stock our house with it. Our house is actually our sanctuary. It's the place we should feel safe. It's the place that we should feel supported. It should have all the things that help us live our best life. And if we are surrounded by food that we have to constantly negotiate ourselves not to eat, it is a hard road. So if you wouldn't want it in your house on your worst day, don't buy it. So we're gonna start with a pantry clean out. And your action step today is to throw away at least three things from your pantry. Don't stop at three. If you go in there and you see old stuff, expired stuff, crappy sugar you don't want in there, junk food that you know is a problem for you, get rid of it all. Your minimum is three. If you wanna go ham and go into your freezer and go into your fridge and do this too, we're gonna start fresh. Remember, we're gonna start with a clean slate, get rid of some of those things, and then we're gonna start building up some positive nutrition habits that actually support you. Now, what happens if you have a family who's like, I want all of those things? What, let me give you a couple strategies that worked for us. So first off, we don't make foods off limits. I just don't necessarily stock the house with them. So one of the things that I do is I tell my kids that sometimes we go out to treat. We might go out and get a blizzard rather than stock the house with endless ice cream. Why? Because I don't want to negotiate with myself about eating ice cream every day. But if we go out to have a treat, it's no big deal. And so that is just one strategy that works well for me and my family. Another thing is, is that I put sometimes some treats, the things that they like away. I'll put them deep into the freezer. I'll put them far, far away where I don't have to see them because if we see it, we want it. So the things that live out on the counter, the things that are right there in the pantry, right in front of our face, the things that are right in the fridge as we open the door, those are the things we're like, ooh, I want that. And we're gonna replace those with some quality choices this week. But remember, it's completely okay to set boundaries in your house about what you want to have there. Your house is your sanctuary. So today, we're gonna keep it really simple. You're gonna be like, Christy, where's the 75 million things I'm supposed to do? Guess what? Just do this one and we're gonna build on it tomorrow and we're gonna build on it the next day and we're gonna build on it the next day. If you can remember, if I wouldn't want it in my house on my worst day, don't buy it and you give yourself a sanity check, pantry, clean out, fridge, freezer, whatever, every couple months, you have picked up something from the very first day that you can use forever. So I want you to clean out at least three things from your pantry, take a picture of it, post it in the Facebook group for accountability, and you have completed today's boot camp action step. Remember, we're gonna break down, then we're gonna build up, and we're gonna start with a clean slate. So if you need any help, please let us know, and hopefully this video was helpful. Take care, bye.